Can one leave a new family to become a monk? The question is brief but difficult to answer. The answer is certainly long and requires consideration. The question had to be brief because it was the title of a video, later a long one was the video exposure. I, as an ordinary person, will try to address this problem according to my own thoughts or my personal opinion through this video. If future exposure to this video is not appropriate or inappropriate, please correct it or offer suggestions and comments so that the audience has more to explain than just this video I'm making. If you are willing to correct or give your suggestions and comments, I have previously expressed my grat. The new family here is certainly not one of the newly awakened or the newly married, but let's say the family already has one or two children, and then the father says goodbye after all must have given his wife's permission to go live the Dhamma path, live the life of a monk. Almost the same way of life has been followed by the great teacher Tathagata Gautama. It's a different story. If the great teacher did this because at that time the teaching of Dhammas no longer existed on earth, the salvation of those who embraced them, and there would be no new worshippers. Of course the extinction from the teachings of the Dhamma until the great teacher was born in this world around 2600 years ago, is a long time until the signs of the relic that there had been no Dhamma teaching in this world before were no signs of it, are all gone. So under such circumstances one must determine or precisely watch that it is time to be born into this world of future Buddha. Namely, the Bodhisattva was born into this world, to become Buddha. It was born Siddhara Gautama in Lumbini Park at the foot of the Himalayas, northern India in 623 BC, under the Sala tree, it suddenly puts on flower at not flowering season, but blossoms for the arrival of a future Buddha. Baby Siv Gautama could walk seven steps north at once, and the ground he stomped on grew a lotus flower. The years that followed Siddhartha Gautama's marriage and having a child named Rahula, briefly the story after Siddhartha Gautama saw events which made him unable to relax why there should be someone who was sick, who was old and who died, so diligently to find out the answer to why it could all happen. The years that followed Siddhartha Gautama was married and had a child named Rahula. Briefly the story after Siddhartha Gautama saw events which made him unable to relax why there had to be someone sick, old, and dead. So was determined to find answers as to why it was possible and how the solution was solved. So it was decided to leave the declared family loved into, wife and child, to go looking for the solution by living a life of ascetics. That may happen, first because Sidonak is the son of a king. If the family is abandoned it will not be miserable, because wealth has become part of a large family. It could also happen because the laws of nature operate, because the laws of nature, because the teachings of Dhamma are extinct. Siddhartha Gautama, it was time to rediscover the extinct doctrine of Dhamma, which Sid became Buddha. The karmic way Siddhartha led Siddhartha Gautama away from the family to live as a recluse or as a monk to rediscover the long extinct teaching of the Dhamma. So the loss of Sid property to become profitable or benediction to all mankind including his own family, is not to harm and afflict the Fami, which eventually did his wife and father, the king of Suddhodana, have all succeeded in being an arahant realizing Nibbana, realizing a true bliss which is the ultimate destination of all life, the doctrine of the Dhamma which has been rediscovered by Buddha Gautama the great teacher of man and God. Now to the matter at hand. For now the teaching of Dhamma is still there, can still be. We learn, then abandoning the family to become a monk requires much consideration and many requirements. The terms, if you ask me, is the following example. 
One, is it all considered so that the person will be able to leave the family forever in the sense of not living together again and being able to live a life of a monk, where one must be able to let go of one's clinging, unfeeling, and a yearning for family? Two, does the wife freely allow? Three, whether the wife's living expenses would be sufficient until she passed away and up to the child. The kid gets enough education and gets a decent job. For example, by the way, the wife has been given a legacy of good and adequate effort, or the wife has been. Have a new husband, gratitude a rich husband. I think it is the three most important requirements must be met first before deciding to lead the family to become a monk. Of children who don't allow their father to be a monk and who miss him. It's only temporary. With time, they will overcome for Bhakta's sake. A son to a father. And for a father, he's been educating children ever since. Early to be able to release attachment. Besides, any time kids and ex-wives can still see your dad and ex-husband. That should be of interest to one. The monk is not allowed to dissolve in bliss and sadness at meet and separate with children and ex-wives. I agree with the opinion that it doesn't have to be a monk to walk the path of the Dhamma. It can take the same good either way, the middle way, for example not being a monk, but being a priest, building a temple, taking care of the people so that the three parties are concerned. The wife and children were not disappointed. It is also a solution especially if there is doubt whether the legacy of the business to be given to the family will be able to walk well and provide adequately and last. So was the brief exposure on may leave a new family to become a monk? According to this channel. May this video be helpful, please provide correction, suggestions, and comments. To those of you who are watching this video through to the end, I'd like to say thank you very much, until we meet again in another video on this channel, on the channel, on YouTube. May you always be healthy, charitable, passionate about living in peace, and always be happy. Bye bye.